Max is upstairs, she's really coughing. I keep having these sort of spasms of dizziness, achy eyeball, headache, and exhaustion. I mean, literally going up the stairs to take Nedra a cup of tea, at the top of the stairs, I'm like that. I mean, how's that gonna work out if I wanna run or do exercise? So I'm just trying to relax my way to the fifth day, take my test tomorrow. If it's negative, then obviously I'm free. If it's not negative, it's five more days, is it? Or until it until it shows a negative. Kiki's positive. Um, but yeah, she's she's up there. Bless her. She's in bed. She's had a bath. Kiki's just made her a cup of tea and biscuits. I'm really feeling for her because she's really got a racking cough, and um, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, she's exhausted. We just flopped in different parts of the house. So there's not an awful lot to vlog other than just to say, this is the point in the vlog where we had COVID. So finally, I've tested negative. It means I'm free again. But Nadia is still, still struggling upstairs. She's had the cough and the chest really badly. Um, you'll probably know this because you'll have been watching Wine O'Clock and Coffee Moaning when they went out at the time. But uh, suffice it to say, uh, Kiki's finally tested negative. Um, and the rules are changing any minute now where no one needs to self-isolate anyway. Um, anyway, so she's still up in bed. I'm about to start my course. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep you updated. Obviously, it's very hard to vlog when people are bedridden. Toss, there's Nabs, there's Nadia. She's not well. She's not well. She's not well. Huh? Where's your mummy? Where's your mummy? and she FaceTimed me and she looked all lovely and beautiful and, and I really wanted to talk to her but after about two minutes I was just too knackered. Look at Toffs. Look. Oh. How are you feeling? Terrible. You, do you feel like you're through the worst? Well it's funny it's like everyone's always said about COVID isn't it? You have some minutes where you feel, you think, oh, I feel sort of better. But then I'm knocked out, I have to lie down again. It's the yeah. fatigue. Fatigue is like breastfeeding or like the first three months of pregnancy. And my chest is very sore, so even talking is made some sore. Right. Stop asking your questions. No, it's all right. I'm suddenly sweating just holding the camera. Yeah. It's really weird. I mean, when you think this is just a mild, mild, mild yeah. dose of COVID compared to what people have actually gone exactly. through with the Delta and the Alpha, Jesus. Yeah. I, I just, poor souls, poor, poor souls. You know, and I just, this this tightness, soreness in my chest, I keep getting scared and checking my oxygen, but my oxygen's fine, but how scary for people. No, terrible. So I do, I am actually, even though I feel so awful, I just keep thinking, oh my God, I'm so lucky. So lucky I was came to us after vaccines and after, oh. Do you think Toffs? Looking after her? Operating. I've got a couple of meetings uh, and I'm also taking in an exhibition um, first thing, so uh, that's done. But um, yeah, Nanny died, didn't want to get out of bed because it's like three, de three degrees, four degrees. Oh, what a shame. 
Anyway, it's the weekend. It's the weekend. And hopefully Nadia will be able to go out. And we're, we're just coming up to Piccadilly Circus. I don't know if you remember during lockdown, it was absolutely deserted. Uh, we came to take a few photos. Um, I'm going to show you it now. Uh, bearing in mind it's 8.30 in the morning. I've already had a double-double espresso at a Cafe Nero. I have to say it was so sharp it was like drinking engine oil. But uh, it's given me fire. It's given me it's like a rocket boost. There we go. Good old Piccadilly Circus. Zeros. place she wants to be. Perfect spot. The perfect spot. <laughs> Taking her till half past ten at night. Yeah. But she's now happy. Oh my god, she's such a funny, weird, strange dog. <laughs> Sorry. Oh tough. You're so weird. <laughs> but we love you anyway. <laughs> god you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> do dogs, do any other dogs actually lie like that? Look how happy she is. You happy? You happy? Mm. <laughs> Soho screening rooms, having seen an amazing film. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? I haven't got a bad word to say about it. I think it was <laughs> absolutely astonishing. <laughs> Facelift. Oh, darling, you look stupid. Oh, God. What have you been doing in my room? Oh, Mark, don't. Go and take it off. Don't worry. What? So, guys, we've got a bit of a dilemma out here. You know our beautiful big tree, our blossom tree. It's definitely fallen forward. Let me show you. Don't stand right under the tree. Mark. I'm not standing under the tree. But that has come much lower. So when you go out, you, you're poked right in the eye. Oh, oh my God, and we're just devastated. Mark's just been on the phone trying to get a tree surgeon to come, but this is the third storm in a week. Yeah. So can you imagine busy. how busy they are? But she said she'll put it as an emergency because it really looks like it can land, it could tip it can on, the land extension. on the house. I'm just going to take you out and show I you. I mean, that would be the worst case scenario if it lands on the house. But if that even... Aside from that, it will absolutely ruin the look of the garden without that tree. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful frame it's of the It's a beautiful garden. tree. It's a blossom tree. I mean, I just, no, no. I'm just going to show you how it's moving. Be careful, though, Mark. No, I know. It shouldn't go out there. It's going to fall Toffee, over. Toffee, stay there. Mark. It's not going to fall over imminently. So, this is so much lower. So, look. I mean, look. It's at my head level whereas it was much, much higher. If you look at the bird, bird box, and there's the root, just there. One big gust, and look, it's really 
really leaning now. I mean, it was leaning, but it's really leaning in now. Look at that. That was more like that. Oh God, if that comes down, it's gonna look really ugly. So I'm under it now, look, look, as I come up the stairs, I bang my head, that's how low it's gone. So low. So we're walking along. I get the panics. Getting the panics. There's a big tree up there, we couldn't stop and film it. Because it was... I said to Mark, it's gonna come down. It's literally, it's like that. It's going, I thought it was a bird, but it's going, and like proper, and there was a bit of a snapping sound at the oh, end of it. I'll tell you what, that tree's gonna come down today. But look at that one up there. How is that not coming down? Oh I mean, I don't understand. Look at this one. It's come down. So wow. far our blossom tree is still standing. Just. So we're absolutely praying. We're waiting on a tree surgeon to come and possibly- the tree surgeon hasn't got back to us. No. I, I hope they give it a strut so that we can oh, keep yeah. it. Oh yeah, Mum thinks it'll be okay. Mum's literally devastated. Yeah. I just popped round there and she went, tell me the blossom tree's all right. I know, it's such and a Dad feature. And Dad was like, a blossom tree? <laughs> you have a blossom? Yes, of course they have. Right opposite the back door. <laughs> Next to the fence. No, no, no in near the fence. Yeah. Right at the back door. It's got blossom at the moment. Every year it gets cherries. Mind you, we never get any because no. all the squirrels get them. <laughs> and that was it. That was the conversation. Let's show this. I love camellias. This always makes me think of weddings. Yeah. It's look always at the first that. thing to flower. Look at that. Close up, Mark. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. So Amazing, beautiful. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Listen, subs. Like Listen to the sound. I don't like it. Mark, right, let's go around. I don't like it. Oh, that's a breaking tree sound. I've never heard that tree make that sound before, and I've known that tree. Let's go years. fast. <laughs> what if the bark makes it fall? Uh. Uh. Quick. <laughs> Toss. It could still kill us from here. <laughs> <laughs> Clear fallout. solution to a problem. Dina's old car sure cleaner. I'm going to show you, it's quite satisfying, but it's not entirely solving it. It's really satisfying. Look how low the tree is. It's 
So we've got sinking trees, falling trees. Hopefully we'll have this paint up in a minute. <laughs> anyway, here's before. And I'll show you after. I think all of that using cardboard and paper and spades and hedgehogs, I think all of that worked really well actually myself. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be able to do this. That was deeply, 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 deeply satisfying. I'm gonna turn you around to have a look at it now. Morning. Morning, here. My God, I'm just half asleep still. I don't really know I'm here. Yeah, I've had three good nights sleep now. Without me being here? No, I had one last night as well. Didn't oh! Get, didn't get up. This is because I was in Glasgow for a couple of days, guys. So that's good. Look how your bags have gone down. Have they? Look how your skin looks. They're no good. longer bags for I life. I bash my boobs so badly. I need to take a remedy now. Can I take you, you know, to every the... time you bash your boobs, you take a remedy. Can I bring you over here? No, no, no. It's got to do kickies too. Usually when you say, can I just take you over here? You've got some ghastly bloody present to buy me. Right. Not this time. Oh, it's nice to be home. I had a lovely time at Kay's, guys. It was so nice. It was so nice. Because I haven't been there since before the pandemic. But it's always nice to get home. Yeah, it's cold in Glasgow. So, how much did you miss me? Yeah, whiskey. Do you want tea? No, thanks. Oh my god. Oh my god! Mark! That's a joyful Mark. Oh, what? Oh, that's why you were jumping up and down last night to let the dogs out. You didn't want me to sit. Oh! Oh, doesn't that look so much better? <gasps> oh my God, it's like it was never there, Mark. <laughs> Did it come off easily? No. Did you do the rest at the same time? Oh, come on. Oh, Mark. What is wrong with you? You got the thing out. Babe, you're never satisfied. No, I'm satisfied. No, it's just not. weird. It's just weird that you didn't do the whole thing. It does look, oh, come here. Who needs a big kiss? Mm. Oh my God, that lifts your mood so much, doesn't it? Yeah. And guys, I have wanted to do it, but he's wanted to do it. Because <sighs> people will say, why didn't you just do it then? Yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe you've got the paint off. Wow. Very impressed, I love it. It's really cheered me up. Oh, good. Thank you. Mark's just taken uh, Kiki to the station, so I thought I'd have a little chat with you. We and Chi Chi. What do you... Of this dog. She just literally breaks my heart. She's just got pure goodness in her. And that one over there, of course, I totally adore in a different way because she's my naughty. Look at that. She heard me talking about Chi Chi. So look at the way she's lying. Are you all right? That's her notice me face. She's had two whole chicken legs and she's now asking for food. Two whole chicken legs, five minutes ago. We're back up to three steroids again now because she's not well. You wouldn't know it to look at her. Um, yeah, I'm just so, 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 so pleased that Mark's been sleeping. Oh my God. Um, somebody on his Instagram must have had a go at him about talking about not being able to sleep in the face of war and everything at the moment. And somebody else, I don't know, it must have been one of you guys stood up for him on Instagram. And it was so sweet. No, oh, do you want to go out? It was so sweet. No, you're not having another one. Um, but it, it just, oh, you know, it'll be some idiot that said, oh, you can't talk about not sleeping when there's war. I've got, I mean, uh, it doesn't mean we're not sympathetic to what's going on, but... It just reminded me how people that sleep a lot just don't understand what it means not to. I've had periods of my life, especially around my menopause, where I just wasn't sleeping. And it's just so horrible. At the moment, actually, I'm waking up really early again. I can't work out why. But um, he, for Mark to sleep for three nights in a row is, I cannot tell you 
how happy it makes me because I know so much of his anxiety and his low mood. Obviously, he's got bipolar 2 and that's that and that there's nothing he can do about that other than what he is doing, which is taking the drugs, blah, blah, blah. But the sleep, lack of sleep just exacerbates everything. And if he slept three nights in a row now, oh my God, I feel really hopeful that he might get... Because it worries me so much because not sleeping is so bad for you in so many different ways. So... Yeah, I'm really, really chuffed about that. Really chuffed. Um, he's so sweet because on his Instagram he put something. He was beating him, you know. He goes, well, you know, I slept last night. And, um, you know, well, the only common denominator here is Nadia wasn't here and that's why I'd slept. So I did like a, a jokey one back to him. Oh, well, something on Instagram. Anyway, straight away he texted me and he was like, I do, I do miss you, by the way. <laughs> Very sweet. Anyway... So, we're going to try and actually vlog all day today. Let's see if we let's see if we can find you anything interesting or funny to do with our day. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm feeling very boring today. I think that went down quite well, didn't it? I mean, you can I can see what she means. Well, maybe I should have cleaned the whole whole thing, but the hose pipe exploded. I think the pressure going into the uh, water jet was so strong, it just literally burst. It made a bang. And it split wide open. It was almost comedic. So anyway, we're just getting ready for um, coffee morning. And I have to confess, phew, bloody hell, nuclear war. The nucle nuclear... The, it takes me back to 1970, mid-70s. I remember walking into the kitchen with my mum and saying to her, Mum, What's this thing called a nuclear bomb? And there must have been some program on television where you saw the damage a nuclear bomb could do as it ripped through a house and vaporized the furniture and all that kind of stuff. I remember going into the kitchen with my mum. I must have been about six or seven and literally bursting into tears. Inconsolable. And in a weird way, I suppose our generation is the nuclear generation. Obviously, we were too too young for the Cuban Missile Crisis, where, by all accounts, JFK K literally had his finger over the switch button. I don't think we're quite there yet. But how mad is Putin? And are we, this is the most important thing, are we allowing him, like a naughty child, a way to get out of his naughty behaviour? Because unless he has an escape route where he saves some face, that's where it gets really squeaky bum moment for me. So we're just heading back, and I said to my, oh, I hope the cake's all right. And then I suddenly thought, I've got a feeling I'll put it on for an hour and 40 minutes instead of 40 minutes. So if it's burnt black, you'll just have to imagine what it would have looked like. <laughs> what if the house is burnt black? Oh my God, hurry up. <laughs> Dana, what are you doing? Tomorrow? I'm going to squirt him. <laughs> with, squirt, squirt. With dairy. Damn it, what is it? What is it? Dairy it? Vegan cream. cream. Go on then. Oh my god! <laughs> what else was he going to say? <laughs> Are you jealous, Teddy? <laughs> don't do it to me. Isn't it, Mum? I don't think the fact that it's dairy was worrying him. Well, it does because he gets spots on his nose. Oh. <laughs> I could see you were tempted to do it all over my face. Actually, yeah. I love the fact that he just gets a spot on his nose. It's no, 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 no. Is it? Can we put that in the microwave? Yeah. Can we do it? Hello. Mark Edley, always known as a miserable git. Shut up, I'm not a miserable git. Darling, you're always miserable. The first 15 minutes of our work. Oh, God, God, God. Oh, God, dear. You are. You don't realise you, you you talk like an old granddad. You always you always all right after about ten minutes, right enough. But the first ten minutes you miss. Right you enough. Where did that come from? Right Stand enough. Up. Right enough. Uh, I just thought we'd vlog a little moment as we walked through the park. I had the same fear this morning that I had when COVID had landed. Yeah, I, exactly. You know what I mean? The same exactly sort of darkness. The yeah. The same sort came of up the stairs at Crystal Palace. Yeah. 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 
I was reminded of how great it was just because <sighs> fucking puking. Oh God, one of our, one of our, crazy. one of you on um, Coffee Morning the other day was telling this story about how her little granddaughter came running into the sitting room and Putin was on the telly and she accidentally said puking. Puking. <laughs> so now he's putrid puking. Putrid puking. That's what we're calling him. But once again, everything's brought into sharp focus and just made, everything's made fragile. Yeah. Everything's just... And, just... and the absolute incredulity of it. Yeah. I cannot... I, I was thinking this morning, part of why I keep listening to the news is because actually I can't, I can't, can't believe, believe it. it. Yeah, exactly. I keep thinking somebody's going to turn around in a minute and go, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. I do agree. You, do you get that sense? Totally. It's, it's, it's total disbelief that we would have the spectre of war over our heads. Who ever thought that we would have this? I mean, we just listened to a conversation on the radio where someone was saying, well, we have to go harder. And the radio presenter's going, but you'll press the button. I've listened to loads of people today on the radio and every single one of them said he, he would. Yeah, I he think would he would. It. Yeah, he would. I do feel so, for Finland and Sweden. Of, and oh, God. Nice to be out, though. But, yeah. Is it darling? Yeah. It didn't feel like it was nice to be out the it first time. It was fucking freezing. And my feet and my feet and my hands... Is she pooing? No. My feet and my hands... What, my feet? No, they weren't. My hands and my nose have been so, so cold. But we're on it this morning, it's Sunday, and quite often on a Sunday, we lose the day and we don't get out for a proper walk. We've so done we're it. we're out to get the paper to the dinner live. No, 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 no Sunday show. Actually, we've got Dina coming around today. She making nice things. I'm yeah. making Easter fudge. Uh, Dina's making a vegan shawarma. Yum. And I'm making the bread, so even the wraps are homemade. Right. And, uh, what am I doing? You're doing the papers, which oh, means yeah. we've got to go from here and buy the papers. Oh yeah, of course. And try and look for some good news. <laughs> I really bit like the pandemic. Oh yeah, there'll be about eighty pages in each paper of just yeah. Great. Um, I, I've started running again, guys. I might come for a run later. Mm. Do you want to come for yeah, a run? You can have a good moan for about five minutes, can't you? Shut They're all come out for a Oh my god! I know what we need to do, Dina. What? What's the thing he drinks all the time? Go and get a coffee pod. Oh, coffee pod. Oh man. <laughs> So tell them what you're doing, Dina. Right, I'm doing something called uh, <laughs> massive resistance <laughs> kinesiology to test people on their intolerances. And so I'm going to ask you to put it my hand as hard yeah. as you can. Again. Okay. Now I'd like to hold the coffee in your left hand and do the same thing. Oh, it's all right. You're all right with <laughs> coffee. He's, right. He's nearly killing himself <laughs> to get that arm up. Right. Did you see him? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Oops, don't eat them. <laughs> he's using all, right. all his strength, Dina. He's all right. He's using, he's trying to smile no, no, through no, it. No, but you know I did it to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Dina, what, what's this, Mark? Okay, so your strongest arm. Push. Oh, she's so weak. I know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, now hold the pin out. Look at this, my favourite. No. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm using the same pressure. Oh my God. You can't have it. No, eggs. Can't. I've, I've got a th I'm, I'm worried that I've got an intolerance to eggs because I eat so many. I have to eat them. Every does it day. mean that because you have a lot of something, you have an intolerance? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. So then you just have to give it up for a few you have to weeks. Give it up for a few weeks. So she's, you've given yourself an intolerance. But if she's weak, then everything. No, 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 wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Push! Is your right arm your strongest arm? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Push! 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 Do it. <laughs> Jesus. We're not going to go through every kitchen item, are we? <laughs> Eggs and peanut butter. The only two. Well, the they're my main. done on him is chocolate. I, oh. have peanut butter, I have peanut butter and eggs every single day. Give him Let's do the bunny. <laughs> Mark, stop trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the way you placed it. You see? Wait, let me see. A chocolate oh. bunny. Oh! oh. 
Hold on, take the bunny out. Let me do that again. Bunny again. All right, do without bunny. All right, now with bunny. Yeah, that's stable. Get bunny. All right. Oh my God, Mark. Oh my God. Isn't it weird? Yeah, that is so weird. No, but it means just have a break. Just have a break and I'll test you again it, in five it just, weeks time. Yeah, have a break for a couple of weeks because you know what, as well, it really helps you lose weight if you don't yeah, eat things exactly. you're intolerant to. I have been doing the lawn mowing, so it could weaken my arm. You wouldn't yeah, but it didn't weaken it with anything else. Yeah, with coffee no, right, true, did it? True. On that note, we're going to have a coffee. So, so we're, we're gradually going through every conceivable item. Oh, uh, take the coffee out there. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Confused matters. Right, push against his hand as hard as you can. Oh, oh. Right. I thought it was going to be wheat intolerant. Right. That's you can good. see the difference yeah, between yeah, yeah. when I did the... Definitely. What the else makes your tummy go weird, Mark? Curry. Get out some curry powder. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> this will be so no, funny. No, this will be gone forever. No, 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 but it's interesting, isn't it? Where's curry the curry? Powder, but there's a million things in curry powder. Yeah, but... You've got to go all of them. I think turmeric. I think turmeric. Turmeric? I've got a feeling he's allergic to turmeric. Mark? Do you want coffee with your turmeric? Turmeric with your coffee. Oh, I love turmeric. Turmeric. Oh, 